What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another product. If you guys have been following the channel and you guys saw us do the Super Duty, you guys saw us do the EcoBoost, now we're back with a 5.0. I want you to follow along tonight as we take this F-150 for a ride with the new tuner from SCT Flash. Come on guys. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit that like and sub. We're gonna take this F-150 for a ride. The customer is the one who drives this every day. We're gonna switch positions here. We're gonna take this F-150 for a rip and he takes it for a rip. He's always rolling in sport mode. And we're gonna see the difference between having this with the stock calibration versus the new one custom tune that is carb compliant that allows you to program through the OBD and allow you to have a little more juice in your F-150. But before we get in, let's go ahead and shut the dough and let's gather ourselves for this trip. Let's get this out the way. Away from any moving parts and uh, yeah. This is Daddy Diesel. We're gonna be rocking and rolling. Now I told you he's in sport mode. He does the ripping. Oh wow, we really are ripping. Okay. Okay. 60. Okay. That was quick. That was quick. Now, that was a big hard excel. Let's take this and let's do a, a medium excel pull. I mean, let's. We're not going to be accelerating like that every time, okay? So now we're going to be accelerating from a stop, okay? We're going to pull here. We're going to get nice and straight. We're going to come complete stop. We're going to come to complete stop, and we're going to take off like we're taking off from a light, and we got to get over here, and we got to turn right up here. So we're not going to be full throttle, but we're going to be aggressively half, throttle. half throttling, okay? Decent. Again, we're in Super. sport mode. We got 78,000 on this 2018. 19. Oh, 2019. I'm already, I'm already fudging up the script. So 2019, 78K, rolling around in sport mode all the time. This does have the 10 speed transmission, the 10R80 from FOMOCO. Uh, we're just waiting for some traffic. And they're off. Okay, and now we're off. So the one thing that's gonna be highly different between what we did for my beloved Super Duty and that EcoBoost Tremor that you guys just saw us do, this one is going to actually allow us to program through the OBD. We don't have to do any of that fiasco in uh, going underneath the hood with the 20 plus trucks because the, um, I don't know, the encryption or something uh, with programming through the OBD port versus uh, going through, I guess that would be like a bench, a bench flash sort of thing, but we did it in a different way using the STC product. All right, pulling in. Daddy D. Daddy D. Okay. Let's get SCT'd. Time to slice and dice this open, but only appropriate to do with Power Stroke Tech Talk screwdrivers. Make sure to check the merch store. Links are in the description as always. Pull it out of the whole sleeve. Oh man. Pull it out of the whole sleeve. There you go. Ooh, All right, nice. check it out. We don't want to drop this. This is, this is the, the meat and potatoes of it right here. All right, we got a bunch of cables. We're not going to need that. Open up this black box here. We can put that over there. Okay, so we're looking for the OBD port cable. It's going to be 
in a bag. There we go. Yeah, open that thing up. Now we got another cable in there in case you ever need to update the firmware or uh, have any diagnostic troubles. Um, you can hook this right to your PC and go to the SCT Flash website and uh, get uh, the latest firmware or um, diagnostic support if you got to um, uh, upload the serial number. There's there it is right there. Okay, plug the device in. I guess uh, we got the key on. Now we're just gonna follow the prompts on the actual device, just like we were doing before. So we're gonna go ahead and program vehicle. Ooh, took the plastic off. Okay, yep, mm-hmm. Continue, key is on. Okay, 50 F150. So just like just like we had right here, it said three five. There's only gonna be one that we can pick from. So we're gonna go ahead and slick. We're gonna go ahead and select the 50 F150. It's already preloaded for us. So much easier when you're programming through the OBD port versus having to go through the PCM way that we did because the newer PCMs on these trucks, like I was explaining to you in the beginning of the video, have a um, like a security encryption key when you're programming through the, the data link connector. So now we need to update your device with device updater. So now we are gonna have to hook this to the computer, which I'm gonna show you right now. SCTflash.com, you can download the device updater. There's the device with the included cable. We're gonna go ahead and USB plug that into the computer. See a little light come on. Device is on and we're gonna go to automatically check for updates and anything that is going to be needed to update firmware or whatever for communications, I guess, we are gonna do here. Now that we're done, that was easy enough. Device needs to be updated, okay. Let's do, do an update. Okay, this could take a minute. I remember having to do this on, I think, the Super Duty one. Finally, almost done. Almost! Come on, let's go! I'm tired of waiting! Success! Alright, let's unplug... Let's unplug this mug and now let's go back over to the truck and see if we can initiate this whole thing again. Yeah, yeah, just plug it in. All right, redo, key on. Okay, go back through the same thing we did, yep. Processing more data. Okay, we're not changing the fuel octane. Uh, go ahead and hit that disable. So we'll change that. Speed limit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, go to approve. Hit to the right, I think. Yeah. Okay, continue. Did we change the tire size? No. Uh, adjust the TPMS? No. Adjust the rear TPMS? No. Did we change the gear ratio? No. Okay, disabled, speed limit off. Okay, continue. Okay, we need the key on. Remember what I told you when we were doing the EcoBoost? We're taking the stock file and putting it into the device and then taking what was in the device and putting it into the ECU. So you're always going to have your stock file on that handhold. That's so important when 
you're programming these trucks or vehicles for that matter, if you don't have the stock file, it, it just it creates such a headache because you, one, you're going to have to get your vehicle back to the dealer or you're going to have to have a dealer level scan tool. It, it's, it can be kind of a, a pain in the butt. So when you're doing this, make sure you're following the prompts on the computer because you don't want to mess something up. Preparing the data. Here's your cord, my lord. Okay, 50%. Okay, that was way quicker. All the way to 100%. Cluster came back on, so that's good. So much easier programming through the OBD link. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, look at these boots. What's that orange stuff on his toes? Brown. Oh, orange, brown. I don't have any. Do you guys put that stuff on your boots? What boots do you guys wear? We're a fan of Red Wings. He's got red backs? These are red wings. Red my wings. My favorite boots are red backs. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> what do you guys know about that? Shit. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, boots. Big fan of Red Wings. I think I've had the Red Wing ones, I don't know, for quite some time. I've had these. Too heavy. But I like the hiking boot. I really like the hiking boot, and I'm kind of almost due for some more enough boot talk. Program vehicle. Ah, now we're unlocking the processor. So it must have read all of the stock data. Now we're, we're going to do the, we're going to do the do. Unlocking processor. Processing data. Please wait. Pretty fast. Almost 92%, 93, we're just gonna keep it rocking and rolling. You think you're gonna notice a difference? I mean, you do drive this every day. I mean, that was pretty much hammered down. The first one was hammered down. We'll see. Why don't you tell everybody about your kids' names? Didn't you have two kids and you named them Walker and Texas Ranger? <laughs> no, no, and this is not a, we do run. Nothing but AMS oil, too. I'm going to be thinking about getting a gas drum of oil. 5.30. Key off. Turn the key off. Programming vehicle. Turn the key on. Do not start. Okay, we're going to be clearing some codes and DTC set during programming. Got a bunch of lights on. No problem. Download complete. Tune has been programmed successfully to the vehicle. Turn the key off. Go ahead and hit done. That is awesome. Not only can you program this vehicle with a special tune, but SET also allows you to change some of the functions you saw about the tire size, tire pressure, axle size, and also pulling codes and monitoring data. So you can kind of use this as a, a monitoring device. You could get the uh, little holder here and have it actually up on your dash. So um, you could set it and forget it, or you could use it all the time. If you were to go back to stock, hey, it's right there. But I think what we're gonna do right now is let's disconnect. Let's take this puppy back on the road and see if we notice the difference. Ooh, sure is nice out, FX4. Newly SCT flashed, 
here we go. You guys remember what we did the last time. We're going to repeat the same thing. Let me get my hook on in case it gets extra squirrely. Okay, we got the sport mode on. We're going to do that same. Holy shit. Whoa, that thing just barks second gear, or third gear, or fourth gear. Dang, boy. Dang, sport motor to max. That thing straight up barked. <laughs> well, we did take the speed limiter off. Did we take the rev limiter off? No. I wonder if your old man will notice something. Did it feel different to you? Hit the plus button on the shifter stop. Take out of sport mode. That was normal. We took it out of sport. Um, I think there's definitely a change with how this file works on this F-150. Uh, the EcoBoost definitely showed a difference. Um, and this 50F-150, I wonder if you had a stick, if this would have been nice. If this was like, you put it on a Mustang? Oh, yeah. 5.0. Any of you guys rocking a tuned 5.0? This thing was ripping. F-150, SCT. Are you guys rocking them both? Let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section if you guys are rocking an SCT on any of your vehicles, whether it's an EcoBoost, a naturally aspirated 5.0, or you got the 6.7 Power Stroke. I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time, possibly in an F-150 most likely in a Super Duty. I'll see you guys.